When you go through a difficult time, you truly learn where your foundations lie. I think that's been so many people's COVID-19 story, and it's our story as an organisation too. Hi, it's Simon from St Andrews Community Network here. I've just popped down to the Sortman Packing Centre that we've set up in Anfield Sporting Community Centre. This is where we're uh, coordinating the citywide approach to emergency food in Liverpool. So we've got teams of volunteers from all over the place helping us pack emergency food boxes. We're doing it in a safe and controlled environment, which means that the stock that's going to the centres has had minimal handling. We set up that Anfield packing centre, we were pre-packing all the food, we were delivering it. It was a monumental effort in those first few months just to change the way we, we went about our kind of food operation. I think as time's gone on, we've realised that not only are people um, needing support in a crisis, but actually they're just struggling to make ends meet. opening pantries where people can pay a small membership fee, go along every week. It's been great to be able to have the resources um, to be able to do that and to respond really quickly. We put an appeal out. I mean, this is this is how generous people are. Is that we put an appeal out because we knew we wouldn't be able to get food donations in in the same way. Football fans, people who connected with fans supporting food banks, just gave really generously, and that's what allowed us to be able to buy food all the way through the pandemic. The numbers of people that we've um, managed to support in crisis, but also to put themselves back on their feet, you know, that, that, that's the outcome of our work and I'm really proud of what we've achieved through the, through the pandemic. I think the way we're working now is the way we're going to stay working. Yeah. We're here to help and that's what we do. I guess we've got one mind on what the future holds and what might come next and we know that there are a lot of people who've moved on to benefits, there's a lot of people who are still on furlough. Next 12 months is about supporting people as they adjust to the change in environment and economic um, situation they find themselves in. So we are ready for that. I think we've set up lots of new things that will help people in that, in that position. Put simply, we couldn't have done what we've done in this past year without the support of people. We just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's given to us, whether they volunteer, given their time, or whether they're the general public making donations, or even grant and trusts who've given kind of emergency funds to, to help us to do what we have done. The support of 
the public and our partners has been incredible. We just couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.